welcome to day seven, a full week down. And um, and last night was a good night. We got the, the ute running. Um, started off a little bit rough, but Andre cleaned it up straight away. And I was sort of nervously checking over all the fluids, making sure everything was fine. Um, it was good because we could sort of test out the power steering uh, circuit and also the alternator. So those things are sort of questions on your mind before you start something for the first time. So we looked over all that and uh, seems to be working fine. So yeah, it was a bit of a late night last night, but I was buzzing. So it's just so good to, to hear it actually run for the first time. Spent so many hours just screwing everything together and just keeping those fingers crossed that it's all going to work out. And um, yeah, I was pretty stoked on how it did. Uh, this morning, yeah, we got up and um, and Andre got it running nice and clean, so we could sort of have it idling and, and go over the, the ECU. Uh, he checked out the triggering system and briefly explained to me how all that works. So yeah, I'm really glad I sort of learned everything about that and went with the, the GT101 sensors instead of the factory Nissan crank angle sensor. So that was cool to, to see it all work and, and yeah, make sure it all went to plan, which it did. We didn't have to modify anything. Um, I took a quick drive out and picked up the enclosed trailer. It still had the 180SX in it from Top Gear Demos in Sydney, so pushed that out and got the ute ready to, to load into the trailer and take to the dyno. So we got there mid-afternoon just in time to, um, to pull it out before it rained and, and strap it down on the dyno. It was quite a surreal feeling starting it up, jumping in the driver's seat and actually steering it in there. So. It had no body on it, so it was kind of weird. I've never driven a car with no body. Um, so I'm re really looking forward to, to getting in and having a good crack tomorrow with, the, um, with learning to tune it and yeah, making some numbers out of it. So today's been a really big day and, um, and yeah, I'm probably happier than I have been throughout the whole build. So yeah, really thanks to Andre and thanks to you guys and thanks to Ben for doing the filming and everyone else involved. Hey guys, welcome to day seven. It's been another big day here at the ETS shed. As you already know, probably we got the ute running last night and that was, uh, that was a huge moment for everyone in the, in the team, particularly Nigel, who spent the last two and a half years of his life beavering away, getting it finished. So today I set about um, making some, some final checks on the ECU. One of the main things I wanted to get 100% uh, dialed in before we went anywhere near the dyno was making sure the triggering was correct in the ECU. Nigel's fabricated a really nice custom trigger setup for his SR20 so he's got a 24 tooth trigger wheel on the crankshaft and he's got a single sink tooth up on one of the camshafts. I really needed to just make sure that the alignment of these was perfect and to do that I didn't really know what equipment I'd have access to over here so all the way from New Zealand I bought a, an oscilloscope with me so I could check that. Put the oscilloscope in the car this morning, connected it up to the two uh, sync signal, the sync signal and the crank signal and checked it and wouldn't you know it, it was absolutely 100% perfect. Couldn't have got it any better if Nigel tried. So that's just how it works out. If I hadn't bought that oscilloscope all the way across from New Zealand, you can guarantee we would have been fighting problems with triggering for the whole dyno session. But it's good to know that it's 100% rock solid and we don't have to worry about that. Once we had checked and confirmed the triggering was dialed in perfectly, the next step was to get the timing light onto the engine and set the base ignition timing. This is one of the most important parts of setting up an ECU before you go anywhere near the dyno. We need to make sure that the timing that you're seeing on the laptop is exactly what we're getting at the crankshafts and there's no drift, it's rock solid. So we set that up, made sure it was okay and again it was absolutely perfect. So that was good to tick those two things off the list. After that I just had a kill switch to wire up and we were basically good to get it in the trailer and go. So this afternoon we took it round to the dyno, um, introduced ourselves to the, the dyno owners and got familiar with their facilities which are really really good, really really tidy little dyno shop so we're quite happy with that and the DTS dyno is going to be a, a great piece of equipment to do the job for us tomorrow. 
Got it strapped onto the, the dyno and did some basic running. Just wanted to make sure that the charging system was working properly and bleed up the cooling system, set up a few parameters and just make sure that we're all ready to, to get going tomorrow morning. So I'm um, really happy that everything's sort of falling into place. One more day, hopefully we'll have this thing wrapped up and it'll be ready to go and do some skids, so stay tuned.